Hello YouTubers and all those who happen to do OMAN oh, Yes, you got an old man mother nah, anyway. This is a sort of a video towards Bob aka uh, standard forty two oh two forty seven. Now what he asked was generally does the now this is more of a cosmetic question as well as you know, then after that he broke off into the uh the peripherals for the uh, device. Now the first thing was, you know, did this feel flimsy or did the case feel kind of flimsy? Well, yes, because again, this is like plastic and metal combined together and it's sort of not a bad mix. I don't care what anyone says, it's not really a perfect mix for handhelds. I think they need to combine the efforts of just making straight up metal or solid metal hinge where it will not be plastic and cheaply made. Now again, Nintendo charges 250 bucks for these devices and they're kind of flimsy, I agree. Now, is that a bad thing? No, because I don't jerk around my device like a madman. I don't go, whoa, you know, just throwing it around like a kid. Well, most likely parents that uh, have kids are like 60 years old or whatever probably buy it for them anyway and as the kids' retinas explode. But, you know, anyway, yeah, he was talking about how it feels kind of like the Nintendo DS Lite. The DS Lite is a flimsy device. I, I always thought that device was flimsy. That's why I always stuck with my uh, my game, my original Nintendo DS. I thought that it was more better manufactured. I mean, granted, sometimes there's a couple of imperfections for the device, but it was not bad. Like it was not the not as bad manufactured as the DS Lite because it's. I understand they're trying to make it smaller, more compact, but at the same time they sacrificed build quality just to make a smaller and cheaper manufactured product so that way people assume they're getting more for their money because they're getting a slimmer, sleeker device. Now with the Nintendo 3DS, they kind of tried to keep up with that idea of keeping it slim, compact, and sleek. And yes, it does look sleek, yes, it does look compact, However, it does fall underneath the syndrome of the DS Lite did, where it does not, it or is not manufactured perfectly. Like it's not, in a, in a fashion sense, you know full well someone's gonna snap the hinge off, rage quit, and then go off and buy another Nintendo 3DS or something, knowing people with the exposable income. Now, for myself, I take very good care of my my portable devices. Oops, anyway, no. But it was the fact that yes, it does feel flimsy. Anyway, the next part was uh, the sound. He asked, did the sound sound low? Well, yes and no. The main reason why is it sounds so freaking low is because I guess they're trying to make it so that way it only focuses for your eardrums, for you only, so that way it isn't overly blurrently loud. I mean, for certain, as certain games, it does get kind of loud. Like, it doesn't need to be, like, ear bleedingly loud but for me it's a fine for me for the uh, noise level as for the <coughs> what is it as for it in general you know I'm probably gonna get myself a headset for it anyway cuz I'd like to listen to it really loud so you know headphone jack is the way to go I guess with this option but yeah I mean go to the dollar store get a headset or something like one of those cheap earbuds there and just uh, slap them in there and enjoy some of that or find some official licensed Nintendo uh, headphones and just pop them into the device. Either way, I mean, Nintendo slowly took in your soul away. Now they just want a couple extra more ounces of your soul. That's the remnants of what's left. But, yeah, I mean, also the other one was, did you notice a ghosting issue as you move around with the device? As you're flipping around like crazy? Yes, there is a problem with that, and, you know, that's just how it is with 3D. Even if you move the 3D glasses with, uh, like, cinemas, it does kind of bl go blurry because your eyes are trying to adjust to the 3D effect or the uh, transition or the, uh, you know, the foreground and background being in different spectrums to the eye trick. So, again, that's generally how it is. Uh, with the device, I kind of, when I move around, I kind of keep my eyes focused on this, like a statue, like you mentioned from the... Um, from was never ending story there. I just go, I physically go like this. And the 3D stays with me. No matter what. I mean, I'm always looking, my eyes are focused on it right now. And 
Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, for me, I don't notice too much of a difference, maybe because my eyes are like freaking Superman vision right now, because these lenses are like hardcore, I don't know, but, <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't feel too bad, and as I'm doing this, I'm just making the Super Street Fighter 4 thing move, but anyway, a little bit of a side topic. Yeah, overall, I think the device is great. I, I still like the uh, idea. I mean, I don't mind a little bit of a change from my gameplay's perspective, as long as it doesn't kill me. I mean, even though everything kind of technically does in life. But, yeah, I mean, it. above all, that's my conclusion of all this is, yes, it is cosmetically cheaply made to a point, because it was manufactured under the $100 mark. Uh, yeah, the sound is low for me, and that is common for most devices anyway. Uh, as for, you know, as for the rest of it, you know, I'm fine with waiting for till late May to get the extra stuff. Because, you know, good things come to those who wait, they say. And you're getting a free uh, title Excite Bike and all that, so either way, it's, it's kudos, thumbs up. But, uh, and anyway, he uh, said, anyways, any response would be greatly appreciated if you're busy or have a lot of spam. I don't really get a lot of spam in my PM boxes. Like I get really get PMs. So again, it was welcome, man. It was I, I, I did answer him in the uh, in my blog TV, but I wanted to answer him also tradition in a video because I felt like it'd be a nice little incentive. So yeah. Also for the next video coming up, guys, I'm going to be uh, reviewing a movie, a movie, and that's going to be about Schmidt which is uh, Jack Nicholson. Oh, well, apparently he must be doing another review of some sort. But, yeah, I'm basically going to be doing this review where it's going to be very raw. There's going to be absolutely no footage of the movie whatsoever. I'm just going to generally talk about it under fair use. So, with that said, you guys, look forward to the uh, movie review. Take care, folks, and take it easy. Oh, man, touch my ding-ding-dong.